All right, what's good? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a little game with you guys. So my wife and I are gonna be taking pictures of the same five subjects, and I want you guys to guess who took which photo. So I'm gonna show you each photo side by side, and you're gonna basically decide who took what. We're gonna be using our Z Fold 6s, and I'm recording this audio with the DJI mics, so let me know how it sounds. The five subjects that we're gonna be taking pictures of are my daughter's shoes, her Crocs, the clouds, the subway station near us, the train tracks, and then the bridge. So let's get into this. All right, so now we're gonna do a bonus round. We're gonna take some selfies. We just wanna hear your thoughts on how we took our selfies and what do you guys think about them, so yeah. With the first photo, obviously there's some major differences in the way that we approach photography and you know just the ideas that came to our head my idea was kind of like you know i wanted her shoe to be hanging off her foot in like a little cinematic cool way but then you know she was fighting me a lot so i couldn't really achieve or accomplish my goal i don't exactly know what my wife was trying to do with hers but it looks like a i don't know it's like a happy kind of vibe and then there's a lot of like empty space but then the bright shoes kind of draws your attention your eyes kind of go there first i think both of us made the shoe the focus point in the picture pretty well like your eyes kind of go to the the shoe right away so we definitely have a difference in the approach when it comes to photography which is cool so this time my photo is on the left and this photo is supposed to be a focus on the clouds and you can see that we both definitely highlighted the clouds in our images but clearly they're very different images for me i was trying to go for like a you know close-up of the clouds and i saw the plane coming i was like oh yeah it's a good opportunity i still think it's pretty cool how there's a you know a lot of empty space around the plane but then the clouds are on top it's kind of like a, a suspended vibe uh, i would get rid of these trees though in the corner if i could I, I like my photo overall and hers is also pretty cool i think like i like how there's the contrast of the ground and then the sky as well i think overall both of our photos are pretty cool you can see the sun hiding behind the clouds over there and yeah let me know what you think about the difference in these and our approaches when it comes to clouds so let's get to the next photos now okay so when i first saw these i was kind of i thought it was pretty cool because we had like the same approach or same idea when it comes to like the angle of the subway station so my idea was kind of, i wanted to get more close to the sign and you know just kind of show like it's the subway but also use the leading lines to show like you know we're going somewhere or something like that it's definitely like rule of thirds it's right here in the frame and then hers is you can see the rule of thirds again right here it's on the side of the frame and a similar idea she's using leading lines as well um but obviously it's a different kind of framing now you got the sun coming through the fence up here which is pretty cool and it kind of brings you down like to the path where you can walk to the subway station so that's pretty cool and yeah so let me know what you think about these shots and how we highlight the subway station so now this one is highlighting the train tracks for her picture the train tracks are off to the right rule of thirds again and you can kind of see bits and pieces of it it's kind of like a, a mystery to me for mind i wanted to get a little bit lower as low as i could on the bridge obviously i couldn't get that low because the bridge is in the air but i want to get as low as i can and kind of get the tracks in the frame like that as the main focus and then obviously you got the the tracks being the leading line just going into the distance but then you got a train coming in as well so i thought that was pretty cool and i just like the overall contrast of you know the trees and the the roads and stuff everything going on down here versus the clouds a lot of clouds going on and then you know you got your titan buildings in the background so i thought it was pretty cool so yeah let me know what you think about these pictures and then these photos are supposed to represent the bridge or any of the bridges and so i wanted to frame the bridge in the distance over there the bridge that i'm on so i'm looking it's like i'm looking across you know bridges and that's what i did i tried to frame it i tried to use this thing right here 
and line it up as well but maybe i would get rid of it and just you know let it be the trees or let it be these two borders but overall i'm happy with the shot as well and then hers she literally just gave you the path the leading line down the bridge going across and then i like how the clouds are off to the side like it's clear sky on this side and then the clouds are like literally perfectly lined up with the rails right here so it's like a perfect diagonal i thought that was pretty cool i like what she did as well uh interesting thing to note too is that for most i think for all the pictures i took all my photos in landscape orientation so just horizontal across whereas she took some landscape and some vertical so it's definitely a different thought process for a lot of these pictures okay so now for the selfies we actually took both these photos ourselves obviously she's holding hers and looking away kind of making it look like somebody's taking the picture of her and then I put my phone down. You already know how dedicated mans are taking these pictures. I had to put the plastic down so I don't scratch up my screen while I hold my, ooh. Have my phone on there sitting so I can take that selfie just now. You already know. Propped up with the hinge because it's a foldable phone, right? So I propped it up and then I set a timer and I went in front of it. I actually had to retake this a couple times because I was too far down. So I had to move each time to see what would be like, you know, close enough for me. I could have got a little bit closer to get like the feel that I wanted, but I thought it was pretty cool. And yeah, my idea was kind of be looking off the bridge, but then like give this kind of like small and like claustrophobic effect where it's like a really tight space. But then it's also like there's so much there's so much other stuff that you can discover going off into the distance. And like I'm looking there, obviously. And then I tried to get my hands in the shot for like dramatic effect. But yeah, that was my thought process. And then hers, it's just giving Gabby, you know, Gabby just trying to be cool, looking off to the distance, not to the camera. She's just, she's just funny. A lot of rule of thirds for our photos, we always, you know, angle and have the subject on either side of the frame. So rule of thirds is kind of putting your subject on this side of the frame or this side of the frame. I think there's other points as well, like the top or the bottom. But yeah, usually we kind of go for the middle and put our subject on either side of the frame in the middle. Anyways, I guess that's all the photos. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I said this many times, but I want to hear what you guys think about how we took our photos and our approaches and stuff like that. And also, what do you think these photos, the way that we took them, says about ourselves and even our selfies, our self portraits? What do they say about us? So, this is a fun little game. Let us know if we should do something like this again. All right, so that was the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Whose photos you like better, or what are your thoughts about our photos in general? And yeah, until the next one, we out. Peace.